Hello everyone and welcome for another video of Love and War Games. Today we have Yasama, who is going to play with us on a very special game that we presented so far but we never had battle reports yet. It is going to be Conquest and this time it's going to be First Blood. So the skirmish version of Conquest, you've seen uh, us playing at a tournament of Conquest that was organized actually by Yasama. So thanks to, thanks to him. Maybe we'll organize another one soon and we will be able to make another uh, tournament for you. But here we're going to make a real battle report uh, where my Dwe Bones that you have seen, who are now finished uh, painting, they're actually, they are pro-painted by Yassant, actually. <laughs> He's also, uh, it's also the name that you hear, uh, he paints many, like most of my dystopian warships, as much as he can, poor, poor Yassant, he has a lot, of, a lot of jobs to do for the channel. And uh, here we're going to play Conquest. And so Yassant, which army do you bring with you today? I play to Wadwen. Okay, the way one, which are basically the orcs. So it's kind of fluffy, orcs versus dwarves. Uh, we always like this matchup. Uh, it's a little bit different universe in Conquest because the orcs are not so evil and the dwarves are not so good. Uh, but it's, uh, we like when it's not uh, completely uh, black and white, linear, or like good uh, and evil. So now what we're going to do, we're going to first present uh, the list, the scenario, and we're gonna start wide up because we're not making the narrative Conquest for Conquest just yet. What do we have? Uh, it's a, again, it's first ball, so it's a skirmish version, so that's why they are not on their square bases. We have here a predator, which is going to be the leader. He's a quite a shooty character, uh, not so bad in uh, point blank either, like when you attack with your swords. And he has an artifact, the kiss of the dilosaur, which I don't want to know what it is, but it allows you uh, to force the opponent to reroll every successful uh, defense roll. He brings a brute, uh, which is this warbred, beautifully painted uh, as well by uh, Yassant, like uh, we can see the talent on display right here. The warbred is going to be his really uh, offensive uh, piece. It has cleave too, which is to be uh, efficient when you see how resilient my list is. So uh, maybe I will need to focus it down fast. Then he has a pack, or oh, let's start with those, with the, these braves, I think they are like seven braves. And this is going to be what he brings to hold the line. Uh, no, they're supposed to be nine braves, my bad, it's the other one. So nine braves, uh, they are tanky with their shields, they're going to be here to hold the center. He also has six slingers, those are shooty orcs uh, with torrential fire, they ignore the terrain that slows them down like this, for example. Uh, so they're quite efficient. And finally, we have here a pack of seven um, blooded. So those are more like melee threat that do deal a lot of damage. So that is a list. Uh, quite a lot more models on the table than I. As you will see, I went more with a, an elite army. Uh, let's go right now, by the way, for the Dwegoms. And on my side, a Dwegom army. So we have my old Re, which is this guy with the giant axe in the back. And he's going to have three bodyguards with uh, weapons and shields. Um, this is going to be a really tanky anchor. Uh, he has a lot of special rules, especially he can boost people with shields, like those for example. Yeah, this guy has still an enhancement for plus one defenses, which means that in the end, uh, everyone here is going to be defense five when he gives his command. Defense five, hardened one. So that's going to be resilient. Talking about resilient, we have also those guys five uh, dragon slayers which count as two for capture of the objective if they capture the same as the old Ray. all of these guys count as three by the way and uh, these guys also have something like defense four hardened one or hardened, hardened two something like this so they are really going to be resilient as well and i just love the paint job they look so good i'm so happy i uh, just received them today that's why i'm so excited about them and they're they're really really punchy at uh, close combat and then we have four hold things. So these guys, in the end, are also going to be with all the boots, especially from this Herald of Stone, going to be defense uh, five, because three base plus one from the shell plus one from the Herald of Stone. So defense five, hardened one. And with the Nemancer Apprentice, they are going to count all this pack as two models on the objectives. So really elite packs. And to finish, to keep my back line, I have four hold ballistas. I don't count on them to do much, but they can do some damage at a distance and maybe trade some blows with the slingers. So that is going to be it. We're going to make the deployment because unlike last argument of kings, um, this uh, actually you deploy normally and uh, we'll make the deployment and then present the scenario. 
All right, the deployment is done. As you can see, there is two battle lines facing each other. Uh, the this scenario, we need to control those two objectives that we see here, and we need to destroy the enemy uh, objective markers, which are these statues I need to destroy for myself. And yes, and we need to destroy these two statues. Uh, they have five hull points, no, uh, five wounds. And uh, after that, they get destroyed. Uh, my deployment, I deployed here the whole things, which are quite independent, counting as two thanks to the Nemenser and the whole Ballistae uh, on the hill. And here I deployed the whole Drave uh, that will boost the Dragon Slayers right there. On the other side, we have the Braves right, no, sorry, the Blooded right there with the Boarbred going to flank. Uh, these guys are not feeling very safe about it. Uh, the Braves are right here, and we finally have the Slingers with the Predator right in the middle. So let's uh, let's start, we'll make our list, and we'll start for the first turn. We made the first few movements without filming. Uh, these guys tried a very ballsy charge, they didn't succeed, so they only moved from the charge, so one, if yeah, said. Uh, my Audrey moved forward, uh, they boosted themselves, so they have defense 5 now, uh, resolve, uh, sorry, um, and harden 1, so they are very tanky, I count on them. And he moved now his uh, slingers right here. He's gonna have 15 dices hitting on twos or less, so one on twos are successes, and every hit makes him another hit roll. And I'm counting on them to tank good. 15 dices, everything on the leader, on my whole rare. Five hits, so he can reroll five dices. And there's gonna be two more, so seven defenses. Statistically, I'm supposed to lose a wound. So I have seven dices. Every six is going to be two wounds. And I see one six, so that is going to be two wounds because uh, I have defense five. So yeah, I lose two wounds on my leader. He goes from five to three. Okay, we made a little mistake. Actually, the slingers don't have deadly shots, so he lost only one whole point on this guy. And then I activated the dragon slayers ready for the charge, and he's going to shoot with his predator hidden here behind these. <laughs> Carnaval uh, Slingers. He's a little bit hidden, but he's gonna try to shoot again at my old Rer. He has four shots hitting on threes, and this guy has a uh, deadly shot. So every six is going to be two points of damage. He has armor piercing one, which is cancelled by my old Rer having hardened one. Uh, let's go for four shots. Three defenses. Every six is two whole points. Uh, two whole points, two wounds. And I see a six. Aye, aye, aye. So that means he goes from 4 to 2. Starts to be uh, quite tough for my old guy. Maybe he's gonna say, like, okay, I'm gonna stay a little bit more in the back. Now it's time for the revenge. I move my whole balliste right here. They are going to shoot on those uh, blooded. I have 8 dice hitting on 2s and they have armor piercing 1. So their defense of 2 is going to be 1. And I make only 1 hit. No, 2 hits. Two saves at well, oh. yeah. He has two defense two minus one, so he made just just what he needed. He saves everything. Wow. End of turn one. We start with turn two, and he has the initiative, the supremacy, and of course he charges my whole ballistas with his warbred with a beautiful charge of six, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be very easy. He has first his impact attack of the warbred, three dices. Hey, easy? <laughs> Defense three, thanks to the shield. I, well, I have a broken one. I, so one saved and, and two saved, so minus one hull. Okay, so now he's going to make five attacks. Uh, he can physically kill only those guys, and then uh, those guys can only take morale because they have the little objective between them. It's going to be five dice. Uh, every one is going to be two hits. Four hits, but no ones. Uh, he has cleave two, which means I'm only going to save on ones. And there is not a single one. So one guy is going to die, another one is going to die, and one wound on the third one. I uh, know this is uh, is too far, too far. So this is going to be lost because those guys are already dead. Okay. Now resolve those two guys have casualty tokens and I have resolved two. If I don't succeed any of those, the regiment is wiped out. Oh, double one, which means one of them is super fresh. But the other guy runs away. 
now that this poor guy is uh, the last survivor, I activated my old Ray and his three bodyguards, and I decided I could have a charge at three plus here, and a charge at one plus automatic here. I decided that seeing that luck is not on my side today to charge those, and it was good because I made a one on the charge. So I arrived here in the end with six of movement. I'm going to make a little duel against the leader. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a role for the leader. I will ask Yassant, who is the expert on the game here. And we have a consolidation move of two inches. So these two guys that are a bit too far, they're gonna go closer there to try to take uh, control. I will probably try to keep this guy here uh, because if I do this, uh, they still contest the same objective, those and those, which means that those will count as two, which means 10 control, like objective control, we'll call it 40K now. And those can only make like, um, seven or eight, including Predator, maximum nine if Predator counts as two, but it means I will keep control of this. Uh, so I will make the consolidation move and then the attacks. Right, I did some consolidation movement and actually by moving this guy a little bit back, so he sits on the objective within one inch of this guy. And by moving the old guy right in the middle with his giant ax, I managed to make everybody fight. First, I'm gonna make the old guy, which has cleave one, five attacks, clash uh, four plus one, clash five. So that should be stable, flash five. And there is one six, so that is set. This is going to be four saves at cleave one. So minus one uh, AP, let's say. Defense two. Okay, defense two. And that Ooh. is two saved, so minus two uh, wounds. One of them is killed. And now we'll make the... Jeu de courage. Ah, yeah, right, bravery test. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make the attack of the bodyguards. And while we were reading the characteristic of the bodyguards, actually they have tenacious, which means the regiment, which includes the old rare according to the rules, uh, have tenacious, which means the first failed uh, defense uh, is ignored. And since the, the old rare ignored, like uh, received one failed save from the slingers and one from the predator, he actually uh, canceled both of those and he lost absolutely no uh, life at all, no wounds, which is incredibly tanky. <laughs> like, wow, how do you deal with that? I don't know, I don't know. But right now, the bodyguards are attacking nine attacks, three per guy, at Clash 4, because they are inspired. So that is going to be five hits. Five saves at three. I see only one. So three plus is saved, so that is going to be four wounds, and now four rolls of morale. Okay, so actually with all of this, this was a three, we were just talking. So one guy from the Moral dies, one of the guy that already lost a Moral wound, and then another one dies. So that cleaned up the pack of Brave quite well. They're broken? Oh yeah. Wow. Okay, after this absolute slaughter here with the Aldrey, the Slingers are not moving and they're shooting not on these guys with Defense 5, but on those guys with Defense 4. Uh, he not inspires, but he aims. So it's going to be a volley three and he's shooting at these five uh, Dragon Slayers. So let's roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man. So he did oh. 11 hits, 11 hits, and he gets 11 rolls more. Uh, one more. Ah, right. Less good, that is 14 saves. Uh, 14 saves at four plus. Statistically, they might get broken outright. Okay, so one of them died because they have three wounds each and the other ha one has uh, two wounds left. Uh, they have a um, casualty token, which means when they activate, they will get Inspire and they will also get plus one attack per guy. Uh, <laughs> what Yasant was saying, he just made the Dwegomes angry. <laughs> Next activation, my whole things are charging this warbread. I took again the automatic charge rather than trying the three plus. Uh, this poor guy, like they're very angry that their whole ballistic friends got slaughtered. So they are just <laughs> getting ready for revenge. And we have the little name answer saying like, this guy must die. So we'll make all the rolls outside because I have, there are two officers. So it's gonna be three different rolls, blah, blah, blah. We'll see at the end if he survived. So these uh, old things cleared out uh, the Warbred with like, they're quite lethal, those guys. They are now facing the blooded saying like, you're next. And the brave unbroke themselves because they were broken. And uh, they decided to make a charge on the whole player to lock them out. Uh, and now my next activation is going to be the whole ballistic.
Now, after the whole Ballista moved back between the safety of his friends, the Predator is shooting on the Dragon Slayer, four shots. At four or minus, it's gonna be two hits. And armor piercing one, but countered by hardened one, defense four, about double four. <laughs> they are tanky AF. Activation of the Dragon Slayers. Uh, they got shot by the Predator, but the Predator uh, did uh, nothing. And now they charge. They got Inspire from their casualty token and Relentless Aggression means they get also plus one attack per guy, uh, which means that actually if they were brand new, they would have six attacks, five guys plus one from their leader. And since everybody, including the leader, gets plus one, they go at nine attacks now. So that is, they, like uh, like Yassan said, they just got angry that one of their guys died and it's gonna be nine attacks, cliff three, clash five. What the hell? Eight hits at, uh, <coughs> at um, cleaver three. Yeah. The cleaver. So the dragon slayers in the end killed uh, four guys, four of the slingers uh, in uh, melee and he lost three more from moral uh, checks and it means the seven slingers are gone these guys really do clean up uh, quite a bit i think we uh, it's going to be the end of the game by the end of turn three okay the blooded activated they did a charge and they are now charging the old thanes uh, protecting the little whole ballista in the middle uh, that is going to be 15 dices at clash three Seven hits, defense five. Yeah, this is... Okay, one guy died, they have two wounds per guy and two morale at resolve five because they have basically three, but they are always considered to be in range of the old ray, so they have a resolve five. If I resolve five, it's good. They're fine, they don't fall back, but one of them is dead, which is, as Yasan said, just enough to get them angry again. <laughs> All right, beginning of the third turn, the uh, Wadwoon have initiative because they now have a little uh, disadvantage in the number of cards. The Predator, being quite ballsy, charges the uh, Dragon Slayers. He did uh, this roll, he hits on four, so I'm gonna have four saves. And we forgot, but he has an artifact, so I need to reroll all successful uh, wounds, uh, sorry, saves. So four plus, rerolling successes. So four pluses, and I reroll those. Yeah, but that's gonna be uh, four wounds. So this guy is gonna die from two wounds and two more. So this guy has one wound left. And now I need to make a morale. That's right. Morale, four morale rolls. Um, resolve four, five. And uh, putain, as, uh, more people are gonna run away. All right, so I little mistake here. I went back to like, classic games. Uh, those are successes actually, because uh, four, uh, it's, um, what is the name? Uh, I need to roll low, so my bad. I went, I reversed back, but this still means three wounds. So this guy is gonna die, and this guy is gonna have one wound left, but nobody runs from morale. My activation is going to be those old things. They're going to punch on these uh, blooded. So that is going to be bloody indeed. I will make the rolls outside because there are a few different officers in there and we'll see what is left at the end. Uh, by the way, they had an aggression token because they had a casualty last turn. So they're going to gain plus one attack each. Okay, the, <laughs> the whole thing cleaned up the entire regiment. Uh, it was barely enough, but it worked well. Uh, between the morale, like half of them died from the attacks, half of them died from morale. So there is like a lot of dead orcs here and a lot of dead of uh, wounded orcs just running away. And now it's going to be for the activation of the Braves. Well, uh, the blooded did zero points of damage and the old Raiders unit wiped them out in return. And now my Dragon Slayers are going to activate and consolidate on the Predator. The Dragon Slayers did seven hits uh, on seven attacks because they have relentless aggression. Mm -hmm. At cleave three, he saved none. Even, even with his uh, invulnerable save, let's say, like his esquive of uh, one, he did not manage to survive. And so we end up with the entire warrior population of the blooded being <laughs> uh, wiped out. This village is under the control of the Dwegoms, will be able to pillage as they see fit. Uh, let's make a little debriefing for the end of this game. Uh, then basically, like, yeah, I was way too resilient uh, for this uh, map. 
for this uh, battle. I tried to make as tough a list as I could uh, without knowing the game, and I end up with having a lot of like defense five, uh, resolve five, <laughs> harden one uh, everywhere on the army, uh, which he was not equipped to fight. C'était pas équipé pour euh, effectivement. Et le Warbred aurait dû, j'aurais dû essayer d'attaquer euh, plus euh, des figurines d'élite avec. Mm, oui, c'est vrai. Mm. Uh, effectivement, like uh, when I saw the Warbred slaughter my uh, ballista, of course I was sad for the ballista, but I was like, okay, he attacks them, so at least it means my whole things are not gonna die because if all my old things die, it's not the same thing by the end uh, of the game. Overall, it was my first game of First Blood. I really enjoyed actually. Uh, it's, well, obviously, <laughs> yeah, obviously, uh, it's, very, it's very fun when you win. But yeah, it's uh, I got the feeling of how the game is. It's quite fast paced, and uh, it's really like uh, enjoyable. I think we'll even have time to make a second book battle report to that will be published like a little bit after. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, fast paced. It's enjoyable. Uh, it rolls very fast between both players, and it's very good like snacking game. Uh, last Agreement of King, there's really like these big massive games where you're like thinking a lot and stuff. Here it's very much more like a skill magic game, but with the beautiful miniatures of Conquest. So I'm very happy of it. And as you can see, you can put the little terrains everywhere. And it's, yeah, overall it's just uh, very fun. I uh, will try to make more balanced lists for next time, because here there was really like, uh, I made a meme list of Defense 5. Uh, it's not fun for, her, for the opponent, uh, but next, uh, next battle it will be more balanced. And, uh, yeah, yes. Et avec les Slinger, j'aurais pu attaquer des unités un peu plus fragiles, ah oui. comme des tireurs. Bien sûr, ou, comme euh... ou mes Dragon Sayers. <rire> ah, mais tu viens quand même. Euh, oui. <rire> non oui. Peut-être que oui, c'est à peine plus abordable. C'est vrai, c'est vrai. Mais. 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 Overall, it was a very fun game. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to give us a thumbs up. It really helps. Give us a little comment as well. Let us know which uh, armies you would like to see us cover in Conquest. Do you want a little bit more First Blood? Do you want us to be able, as soon as possible, to make battle reports of Lost Arguments of Kings? Do you need some, I don't know, uh, how to start the game, etc.? Let us know which type of content about Conquest you would like to see. And until the next video, remember to keep spreading the love all around. Bye!